Handicapper Steve here, handicapping the racing from Goodwood Racecourse here on Wednesday. It's the 31st of July, 2024. Going to look at the stakes races, the group action here on this Wednesday program from Goodwood. But before I get on to that, remember to please follow me on Twitter at Horse Racing Get 5 for more selections for race courses around the world. And also join me throughout the week for some more Goodwood previews. And also check out my Saratoga previews this weekend um, and throughout the week also. Um, it's Whitney week from Saratoga. It's probably the second best weekend behind behind the uh, Travers, and um, and you just see some good racing this week. Um, today's card, it did a full card preview. It's up here on YouTube right now, so go check that out. And uh, tomorrow's card, Thursdays, looks very nice, and the Whitney Saturdays are going to be good also. Just in general, join me here on YouTube for those previews. But we're going to look at the stakes races here on this uh, Wednesday program. The second, third, and fourth race, 225, 3 o'clock, and the featured 335, the Sussex. So let's get to it right now. The second race at 225 from Goodwood. It is the Group 3 Oak Tree Stakes. It's a Group 3 event for Class 1 horses. Going for a purse of $127,000. Race for 3-year-olds and upwards. Phillies mares only. We have a field here of 11 horses going 1,400 meters or 7 furlongs on the turf course here in the Oak Tree. Years ago, they used to be, um, when they used to have the Oak Tree at Santa Anita Fall Meeting, there used to be the Premier Race, which is now known as the Awesome Again, or actually now known as the California Crown Stakes, I think it's going to be this year. Um, it, they have a they used to have a race called the, um, the Good Goodwood Stakes, so, uh, you know, which was named after Goodwood in the UK, and of course, this race, I believe, is named after the Oak Tree Association in California, if I'm not mistaken, but, um, you know, it's, it's good that they cross sides here, but um, my top selection, I'm going to go with the Seven Horse Jabara, I'm going to go 784 in the Tri-Cash Trifecta, 784, Tri-Cash Trifecta, top selection, Seven Horse Jabara, this three-year-old Philibank Seen Excel, Roger Varian trains, James Doyle gets the mount, the horse's most recent out came the Group 1 Foul Mouth Stakes in Newmarket, Mile Good Ground 12th of July, the horse finished second by two and three quarter lengths that day. And he was with him early on, just couldn't get up the final hill well. Porta Fortana or Fortana really ran terrifically to get the job done. But this horse, she placed well behind her. Come back from a group one to not the world's toughest group three here today. Back to seven. I think this horse could find a trip to win. A good wide poster also suits this horse well. He ran the eternal stakes, Phillies listed stakes, Carlisle prior to that. Seven furlongs, 26th of June, where she won by one and a quarter lengths. She had a little bit of a wide trip that day, but she stalked, she got the lead, she quickened up, and she destroyed the group of horses almost. A one to two favorite. She was supposed to do that, and she won it quite nicely there. And the Queen of Scots stakes at Musselsboro, seven furlongs, first of June. She won by two lengths that day, and again, down in class up in Scotland. She basically, from a tracking trip, won quite easily in cruise control. You know, her races before that, you know, I, I thought she, when she's facing tough horses, she just doesn't show up. When she runs in listed company, that's where she really runs these good races. She ran the Chelmer stakes before that at Chelmsford over the six, where she finished third by one and a quarter lengths that day. And I thought she just couldn't get there late from the wide post. She just kind of yielded that day. Off the bench, also she probably need the race. And then her final start last year, she lost to Porta Fortuna in the uh, Chevrolet Park, where she finished six by three lengths, just not really showing up. Facing these quality horses here today, she can win. I'll use her on the place pot here. I think the eight-horse Kathmandu for Sean Levy and Brian Meehan can win also. Most recently, the group won Prisjan Pratt at Deauville over the 7 on the 7th of July. Facing the boys, she finished fifth by three and a half lengths that day and just was kind of flat that day. I think got outclassed by the other ones. Prior to then, the French Thousand Guineas at the, Pol the Polish is at Longchamp over the mile 12th of May. She finished second by a head and outran the 45 to 1 odds that day. She had a great dream tracking trip from the inside. She just missed late on the fast ground, but not a bad race after all said and done and then neil gwynn stakes at new market over the mile uh, over the seven on the 17th of april she finished third by two and a quarter lengths you know she sat back early she moved a little bit late she had the lead she just kind of got overtaken late but she, you know she, she ran her heart out that day off the bench and then a novice race at Southern's end off her two-year-old campaign over the seven she um won by three quarters in length her only victor to her name she basically won from a tracking trip from a very good poster that day refreshing here off some decent runs way down the class ladder from her last two. I'll use her on the ticket, but to recount my selection now for the 225, the second race from uh, Goodwood. It's the Group 3 Oak Tree Stakes. Going to take the 7-horse Jabara. Give kudos to the 8-horse Kenth Mundu. 7-8-4, Tri-Cast Trifecta. 7-8 in the multi-race. The third race at 3 o'clock now from Goodwood. It is the Group 3 Molcomb Stakes. It's a Group 3 event for Class 1 horses. Going for a purse of $127,000. Race for two-year-olds here. 16 horses are contesting... 
a thousand meters or five furlongs on the turf course. I'm going to take the 15 horse Celadine as a top selection. 15 1 in the forecast exacta for me. 15 1 forecast exacta. Top selection of 15 horse Celadine. This two year old field by Kingman here. Ed Walker trains. Tom Marquand gets the mount. The horse's most recent appearance came in the group two pre Robert Pepin as Shanti. Six furlongs on yielding ground the 14th of July. And he finished third by three quarters length that day. Just kind of stalked all the way around the race course. The two had the better turn of foot than him, but he, he got down there well when they were flying on the front end. Coming back to a coming to a quicker five furlongs for the first time, where he get get a good, you know, backside um, you know, trip. I think he can uh, get the job done here today. He ran two back over at Newmark on the 29th of June, six furlongs in the um impressed stakes, and she won by one and a half lengths that day. And again, she sat back early, she quickened up nicely, and she got the job done going away. A very good strong performance at nine to one of Good upset that day. And then a Windsor in a Class 4 novice race over the 6th the, on the 10th of June. She won by one quarter lengths that day. And again, she broke on top and she had enough speed to hold on that day. She's kind of yielding late on the ground, but still a very good run for her, you know, second outing ever. She ran her debut outing here at Goodwood over the 25th of May over the 6th in a Class 4 Phillies, no, uh, Phillies main race. She spent 7 by 4 and a half lengths that day. And she just never was really into it. She was very lackadaisical. I think she needed the race for experience because after that at Windsor, she really should showed up and she went off clear came back to win new market very clearly and her race in shanti wasn't bad at all either refreshing here at 5 to 1, beginning of the quad pot, I'll use her on the ticket. I think the one horse Astrius <coughs> for James Doyle and um, Archie Watson could win also. Most recently in the Dragon Stakes of the 5 at Sandown on the 5th of July, she won by one and a quarter lengths that day. Had a bit of a, you know, good, easy tracking trip. Got the job, then going way late. That was a very good, uh, strong performance. Major improvement off the race before, which was a group 2 Norfolk and Ascot. 5 for 20th of June. Finishing 5th by one and a quarter lengths that day. Just kind of stalked that day and never quickened up. You know, just needed the race there for the experience. And then a bath over the five in a class five novice race. Went by two and a quarter lengths. Had a good poster from the outside. I don't mind a wide poster over the five there at, um, at Bath. And basically one on the front in a good, good, easy run. 91 cents of the dollar. Everybody and their mother knew this horse was going to win. But this horse really took off clear. Refreshing here. Gets a good wide poster. Has some furly pace. I think this horse gets the job done. I'll use him on the uh, quad pot to um, to begin it off. But to recap my selection for the three o'clock, third race from Goodwood, it's the group three Mocombs. Stakes going to take the 15 horse Saladin. Give kudos to the one horse Astrius. 15 1 forecast exacta using both in the multi race. Let's get to the featured fourth race now, the 335, one of the premier races, I think, in the UK for the summer. It is the Group 1 Sussex Stakes. It's a Group 1 event for Class 1 horses going for a, a purse of $1.2 million, nearly $1.3. Race for three year olds and upwards. Six horses are going 1,600 meters or a mile on the turf course. I'm going to take the four horse Henry Longfellow as a top selection. Four, five, six in the Tricast Trifecta for me. Four, five, six, Tricast Trifecta. Top selection of four horse Henry um, Longfellow. This three year old Colt by Duowie here. Coolmore owns this one. Aiden O'Brien trains. Ryan Moore gets the mount. The horse is most recent out in game. The group won St. James Pals at Ascot. One mile on the 18th of June. And the horse finished second by a neck behind Rosalind that day, who's running back this one today. Rosalind just really had a turn a foot that was impressive this horse just sat behind him and had a dream tracking trip had the lead over in the lane rosalind just caught this horse from nowhere to get the job done but this horse he ran his heart out stepping up in class um at ascot not to knock his races before that but i thought he, he got around the race course a lot better than he did the race prior at shanty at excuse me at long champ a mile in the um group one poulines the, the poulet de Pelines, the french 2000 guineas on a bit of a damped ground after the uh, storms before the race he finished eighth by four lengths that day and he never really got going he was flat two to one favorite off the bench he probably needed the race that day the horses that had starts under their belt really ran terrifically that day and the horse that didn't have starts under their belt for the season ran crap uh and long jump that afternoon but it was his first start since the national stakes at um the curve over the seven last september where he won by half a dozen lengths that day and, and basically from a tracking trip he won quite easily in hand that day and then the group two futurity stakes at um the Kerr over the 70, one by two lengths. Again, from a tracking trip, he quickened up nicely. Nobody's catching him. He has serious ability. Back to a mile here today off some decent runs as recently. 
I'm going to give him a shot on the ticket. I think, uh, you know, he get to the other side of uh, Henry Longfellow. I think your sec- second, uh, the, the other side of Rosalind, excuse me. I think the five horse noble speech is your second likely winner for Godolphin, Charlie Uppie, and William Buick. Uh, it's real quote by DeBowie here. Most recently in the St. James Palace, this horse just not getting a good trip in the back of the pack. He finished seven by six lengths. Wheels are spinning. Off the bench, maybe he need the run. He's coming here with a little bit given the ground. Drawn a little bit better here today. I think he could, you know, find a trip to win. I thought he ran terrifically in the 2000 Guineas, which he won that day by uh, one and a quarter lengths, 16 to one. Should have been 16 to one. He gained a lot of ground for the back of the pack, quickened up nicely. That was an impressive performance. And then over the mile, Kempton on the poly track in a conditions race, he won by two lengths that day. Again, not the the not a lot of forwardly paced on this horse, but when his turn of foot, when he has a good clear running room, he really takes off clear late. I think he could find a good trip from where he's drawn here today. I think there'll be a good pace to close up into and i think he gets some redemption from his last race at seven to two i'll use him here i think they're going to go after rosalind today so i think these two horses are going to be a little bit better value in this ticket but to recap my selection for the fourth the 335 now from goodwood it's group one sussex stakes going to take the four horse henry longfellow give kudos to the five horse notable speech four five six try cash trifecta four five in the multi-race good luck to all and please follow me on twitter at horse racing kit five good luck everybody